In this tutorial video, we will see how to use the RouteCAD CADCAM software CNC late. We have designed a chalk and a workpiece. We have used construction line and we have set the keep out of routing, which means all the line in blue will not be machines. They will only they are only there for a representation of what we are about to do. What is in red is actually the final part that we want to obtain. We have a cylindrical work piece of a certain dimension and also we have drawn a cutting tool with the Z and X axis representing the axis of our CNC late machine. Furthermore, we have put a point at the origin of the axis. This will be the zero, zero location on our CNC late. If we go ahead and click the middle mouse button on this point, we will see that we have a single point object and it is routed and it's using cutting speed. What we want to do now is use RouteCAD 2.5D to use our CNC late and make this uh, surface of revolution. So what we have done is we, we open another project of RouteCAD 2.5D and we actually made this um, this line, this path, that which is what we want, and we routed each of this line individually. So, because we want, we cannot go in one pass so deep in the material, we have to use several passes. So, what we're going to do is the first point to be routed is this point, which is the zero zero location for CNC and our tool is already at that location. What we will do, we will basically merge several cutting paths of the path that we want to do until we obtain the final result. First of all, let's turn on the grid. Now, to bring in one path of this uh, part that we did we're going to simply merge it. We go to File, Merge, and we have already saved a file called Late Part Single Pass. So, so this as the as the part that we have designed, but in a single pass. We're going to open. We're going to just merge that file. Now it's important to merge us after the la after the first after the last route. The reason why is the first thing to be routed will be this point, is this is our starting point, and then everything will be routed subsequently. So we're going to click No to merge it after. And this is the location where RouteCAD put it, which is quite good because we first of all go at that point, then the CNC will move, and it will machine this, and we, it will barely touch the part that we want to make. So since the location is quite good, we're just going to press Escape to put it there. Now what we do, we're going to do, we're going to view the routing, we're going to display the routing arrow, and we can see how the CNC will actually go from the tip of the cutting tool, and it will actually execute that path. Now this is all good, but we want to actually go in the material and cut all the way to that point that we want and we want to do it in a way to go in by in our case we want to go in by 0.5 centimeter inside the material in some case you might want to go in less if the material is quite hard uh, in some case you can go that deep depending on your cutting tool of your CNC power and on some other factor we're also going to be doing snap to grid the next thing we want to do is to merge again that part that we merged the first time. So we go to File, Merge, and we're going to 
merge one more time the late part single pass. We click on open. And we also want to merge it after the last route, so we click on no. Now, it put it at that same location, but what we want to do is we want to start to go in the material. So we're going to click on that grid point over here, and we're going to bring it to the next grid point over there. So here we have it. The first thing that's going to happen is CNC will move and execute the first cutting pass, which will barely touch the material. And then it will execute the second cutting pass, which will actually go quite deeper inside the material. Now we're going to repeat the, this process a few more times. We merge one more time that single pass. Uh, again, no. We're going to bring it from that location and we're going to go a little bit deeper. One more time, we do the same thing. We merge from the initial location and we go even deeper. And one last time, we merge it. From its initial location and all the way in. And here we have it. What's going to happen, the CNC will actually do one, two, three, four, five pass. It will do five pass to actually get that surface of revolution and um, it will basically keep on repeating the same profile five times, go inside the material and execute the surface of revolution that you have designed. So this is how you can use RouteCAD 2.5D CNC late to execute your super, sur uh, surfaces of revolution. Then when that done is quite easy, you go to machine and you export G-code for CNC late.